Chickens have a surprisingly sophisticated communication system. They actually have 25, 30 calls that scientists have discovered. Of course, I would suspect the chickens know more than that number because chickens are tuned into chickens like no other animal is. There was a recent study that showed uh, that they respond differently to large versus small aerial predators. They have calls for terrestrial predators. A rooster finds a grasshopper in the, in the lawn, and uh, if there's hens nearby, and only if there's hens nearby, he may make a come-hither call. He'll forego eating the, the grasshopper for himself. Hen knows the call. She comes running. He points it out. It looks very gallant. And uh, if she finds it, she's the grasshopper. Well, what's in it for him? Well, of course, he's probably buying credit for maybe a mating opportunity next week. Well, that requires long-term memory, it requires individual recognition. So just that call and this dynamic by itself indicates pretty sophisticated communication in the chicken. One of the behaviors that you never see in a chicken in a battery cage is perching. But if you go to a sanctuary where you've taken chickens who've been bred for generations in captivity and they've been rescued, and suddenly they have trees available to them, up they go. If you watch chickens long enough, it's easy to see that they enjoy things and they also have things they don't like. If they have senses, they have feelings, they run towards a food item that's offered to them, they're anticipating the reward, they're looking forward to the pleasure of it, as we would. Similarly, they hear a, uh, an alarm call, they run away, they're terrified, they want to get away from that. They have feelings and thoughts, much like we do. We have the old expression, bird brain. For a long time, until very recently, it was thought that birds really had very little part of their brain that was devoted to anything other than instinct. But about five years ago, a group of scientists came out saying, we need a whole new terminology for the bird brain, because actually, they have a different part of their brain that's, that's got all the complexity of thinking and feeling that mammals have. The ancestor of the modern-day chicken is actually the red jungle fowl. This is a bird that looks much like a chicken, I mean, different plumage color, lives in big, huge jungles in Southeast Asia with complex trees. They fly up to perch. Uh, they are wary of predators, and they're scratching around in the ground for food of various sorts. Studies of chickens and other species find that despite hundreds of generations in captive artificial environments, they retain all of the behaviors and needs that their ancestors had.